So hi, welcome to Lacaber Stainless, our little workshop here in Fort William. It's been a while since we've done a YouTube video and thought we should try and get that ball rolling again and see see how it goes. Um, just a kind of casual quick walk around some of the projects we're doing, ongoing jobs, things like that, just people might find us interesting, stir up a bit of interest. Um, behind me, you can see the CNC machine or, or, well, it's a bit of a misnomer. Vertical machining centre. That's set up just now, about to run a, an initial operation on a... It's just a cylindrical part. It has a through bore, a couple of things, but the stock isn't all that accurate. And the bore is reasonably large, at least larger than any twist drills that I have, and they take ages through fairly tough steel. So the mill will be going and doing the initial bore with a large indexable drill and that'll, that can just plow right through nice and quick um, and then I'm going to skim a uh, basic just quickly skim almost to size leaving enough for cleanup but enough of a surface for me to dial in on the four jaw at which point we can machine all the critical features and machine bore out the bore center bore to size um, so yeah that's one Something else we've been doing a lot of is we've moved from laser cutting our flanges for the exhaust manifolds that we make and we now machine them from flat bar. So we've been, I've been working hard on that and have come up with an idea to improve the efficiency of that, which involves this, what we would call a tombstone, and that will go in the, the fourth axis unit here and allow us to machine six at a time, like this. So, so there's a few operations, you know, it's, it's skimmed flat, it's profiled to size, so there'll be an initial take to size, load it up, drill pockets, more drilling, edges, and just generally keeping it in-house and not outsourcing what we have to do. We were previously because basically we need to buy a year's worth at a time and I can make a month's worth at a time in a day. So, you know, it reduces our lead times and having all that massive expenditure and keeping lots of shiny parts on the shelf, which invariably get covered in dust and scratched. And yeah, you know, plus it's work for the machine, which costs a lot of money and needs to keep busy. So that's what I've been working on there. So stock for that should arrive next week and you should be able to get some pretty cool shots of that being machined. Uh, so yeah, moving on I suppose to the next project. I'll take my coffee. Now it's a little cluttered in here still but we can have a look at this. So this is a Mark 1 Golf which has been converted to four-wheel drive, not by us. Um, G60 Synchro drivetrain. It's been fitted with a rally front end, so eventually it's going to be a kind of amalgamation of Mark II rally and Golf Mark I. Uh, so, first step just now, we've been mounting up the radiator and intercooler combination unit. Then we'll get the, the, inter the supercharger mocked back up, sort out boost pipes, um, a few little cuts and things hidden you know trying the, the fellow wants to tuck all the wire in as much as possible so we'll help facilitate that and then move on to the filler neck which is tucked in here behind the door so this will be the filler neck so that's pretty cool it's a nice little setup so we we'll just need to plumb that into the tank sort out the breathers get those nice and then we can sort out the exhaust, um, which was previously brought to us initially, and then there was a change of plan with the design of the rear subframe. So the exhaust needs worked again to sort that out. And there's talk now actually of also doing a four branch manifold for it. So again, and it's quite an interesting kind of ongoing project, but It'll be some car when it's done. So once it's once we've done all bodywork and any modifications that are needing done that way, 
as you can see it's already in primer so it'll go from us back to paint and then should be getting assembled from there but again the fact it's just the fabrication kind of side of things is going to be our focus on that so that'll be that'll be another one coming up in the next few weeks get some more interesting shots of that so yeah just a quick kind of short video just to start the ball rolling again start getting things built up on youtube um so yeah thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week